saved by a split second. These are the drivers, cyclists and pedestrians not paying attention and on track for disaster. The tram is you know, 40 metres long, it is 60 tonne, should be visible to people. Even if you can't see them, you should be able to hear them. But five years since the trams first started rolling on the Gold Coast, tram drivers are still in a daily dangerous battle trying to avoid people and cars. <laughs> Sometimes they can't. There have been 48 collisions, eight of those in the past 12 months. And in every case, it was the car driver who had ignored the road rules or run a red light. They are regular occurrences on the system. Our tram drivers do an excellent job uh, to anticipate what's happening out there. Sometimes it's not even a tram, but the track that gets drivers in trouble, including this unmarked police car, which had to be towed away after trying to take a shortcut. It is a mode of transport that's still being built in the tourist city. The next stage is headed for busy Burley. If the trams don't capture the attention of drivers and pedestrians, it's hoped these videos will, released as part of a new campaign that could save lives. Look up, stay off your mobile phone. On the Gold Coast, Amanda Abate, 7 News. Tram drivers never cease to be amazed at the stupidity of motorists and pedestrians. They can't swerve, they can't stop easily meaning cars and people always come off second best. Michael Miller's 81-year-old father, no, Jeff, no. spent six weeks recovering in hospital, the victim of a tram forced into emergency braking. I think these accidents are avoidable if we all pay a little bit of extra attention. There's 450 trams across the Melbourne network, the biggest tram network in the world, but unfortunately the number of accidents is increasing. There were 1,100 collisions involving trams in 2018, up from 970 the previous year. The hotspots include Collins Street, St Kilda Road, Flinders and Elizabeth Streets, Burke Street and La Trobe Street. Motorists were at fault 97% of the time and 70% of collisions were caused by vehicles turning right across trams. With 75% of our trams running next to open traffic, we really encourage all road users to be aware of those big, white, green, yellow trams uh, when, you're, when you're about to turn right. And there's a warning for those distracted by music or mobile phones. Nothing is worth, you know, a collision with a tram. Brendan Donoghue, 7 News.